Hi guys and welcome back to Prophecy Unfolding, aka the full gospel applied, you're so welcome. Guys, you know, what do all of the great world conquerors have in common? The likes of Alexander the Great, Caesar, all of these is that they've all tried their best to conquer the known world. They never fully did it, but the Bible speaks of a man who's going to come who will be worse than Hitler and Stalin and all of these guys who's going to cause so much devastation in a short period of time. What I wanted to do today was to show you five things that this Antichrist is going to do in the, in the in the not too far distant future and we believe it's coming close. Number one is my favourite guys. If it is your first time here guys you're very very welcome. Consider subscribing guys if you feel this channel is beneficial and also hit the little bell icon to be updated on of all new um, videos etc. Guys watch it to the end. Hear the message within the message and I'll see you on the other side. Right guys, to get straight into it, as I said, five characteristics of this man that we call the Antichrist. And the character will work from number five down. This is number five. This is what he will do. He will display miraculous powers. And Revelation 13 speaks in this, as he's performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to earth in full view of the people. We know that he will come in all types of lions, signs and wonders. He will do wonders that will be such deception on people that will even cause them to worship him. So he will cause many, many signs. One of them being obviously being performed is for fire to come down from heaven. And I believe other signs will follow. His main objective will be to deceive people essentially into the worship of the beast. Character number four one of the big ones here guys most of us have heard before the antichrist is going to rule with full authority and he will do this for three and a half years revelation 13 also is clear on this in verse five to seven that he was given authority over every tribe people language and nation and this is where this man will differ to all of those other great world conquerors before him he will fully dominate um, the known world yes he does come up against kind of uh, people who would push against him but at the final say he will have full authority over every tribe people language and nation characteristic number three which will be a big one that's going to cause huge deception which is the Antichrist kind of will be given power to come back to life. And we see this in Revelation uh, also. You know, it comes to a point that when this happens, they order them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. This will be a spectacular sign. What a feat this will be that will cause many to be motivate, motivated by the sight of what has happened, by this fatal wound that has been healed, so much so that many will bow down and worship him. And we see that all the way through Revelation 13 up to verse 12. He will cause many to worship him and we know that this is going to happen. People will bow down and worship the image of the beast. So much so they'll even receive his mark. Something else that this Antichrist is going to do, he's going to have control over the world economy. And this is when you have control of people. I always say if you control either the finance and the food, you have control of the people. And we read that in Revelation also when it says that he forces all, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands and on their foreheads. So that they could not buy or sell unless that they had the mark. What is the name of the beast or the number of its name? And then it goes into talk about the number 666, six, six, which most of us know. 
you know he will control finance because of this mark you will not be able to buy or sell and it's going to be for all people he will he was going to try force everybody to take this mark and we can see all signs of this happening today and um, with this whole thing where, where the world is getting smaller we have all of these kind of um, systems where we can kind of keep an eye on people whether it be cctv tracking we look at china they have the biggest the tightest security there where just there's nowhere you can go without being seen. And he will use this technology in order to force this motivation for everybody to receive the mark of the beast. And, you know, even talking today with my parents, and we realise, you know, I, I want to say, you know, it could be years down the line, but it's so hard to ignore the signs that are happening around us that it's almost upon us. We are in the season to where we could see this happen. Are we looking for the mark of the beast? Are we looking personally for the Antichrist? No, we are looking for the return of Christ. That is who we're told to look for, to have our eyes fixed on is Christ coming. But we do these type of videos in order to warn people, to show them the things that this man is going to do in order to deceive many. And we can obviously, if I recap, he's gonna perform signs, he's gonna perform signs and wonders. He's gonna have full authority in all the earth. He's gonna be, that means he's gonna be militarily strong. And um, also he comes back to life from a wound that looks fatal. And then obviously he has control of the world economy. This is a man who will control everything and all for as long as he thinks possible but obviously he's been given a time slot my favorite thing that will happen to this man that we call the antichrist which i have kind of phrased his final destination which is in the lake of fire and it reads like this in revelation and i saw the beast the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. Then the beast was captured and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone regardless of what this antichrist thinks he's going to do regardless of the plan regardless of, of, of all the deception and all the pain and all the hurt that he's going to cause the absolute devastation the final solution the final outcome will be his place in the lake of fire god is fully in control God has already won the chess match, this cosmic chess match, and Satan is playing right into his hand. We know the Antichrist is a tool of Satan to try to get his plan done, but at the end of the day, he has already lost. What we need to do is in these times remain strong, obviously be kind of in prayer, in worship, really have kind of having our eyes open to the signs that are around us and to get the gospel of Christ out as much as possible people need to know that there is a hope there's always hope in jesus christ this man that we talk about the antichrist the final time he's going to make a stand in this period of time that we call the tribulation but at the end of it he will have his place in the lake of fire god will win i just want to wrap that up guys it's a short video like i always say regardless of what goes on all around us god is in control and keep the faith.